Carro. Hello, my Sagittarius friends. It's Guiding Halo. This is going to be a reading about if this Wheel of Fortune was to spin for you right now, would you be ready for it? Would you be ready to step into all the beauty that it's going to bring? And if not, what is it we need to learn? What is it that we need to get there? What is it we need to do to get there? And what happens once we make the right decision? Okay, let's see what that's about. If the Wheel of Fortune was to spin right now for my Sagittarian friends, because we see it in the tarot all the time, and we get excited, and we're like, yay, finally, positive movement forward. Well, positive movement forward to some might not look so positive to you, even though the Wheel of Fortune has already spun in your favor. You might not view it as very favorable, especially if you've not done the work. Like, that I mean done the work is what I mean is letting go of things that no longer serve you. It could be about, you know, stepping into new ideas and ways of thinking that serve you better. You know, all of those sorts of things. This is the main energy of your reading. I surrender to a power greater than me. So it's about surrendering for you guys. Surrendering to something big. So, first card out we have here is I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with eyes of love. So, somebody that maybe you've been on the outs with or something, perhaps you've been having struggles in a relationship. There's a new way of looking at something and it's about letting go of past ways of being or past ways of thinking. Letting go of stubbornness to look at somebody with new eyes of love. So let's find out if this Wheel of Fortune was to spin for you right now. Right now. Would you be ready for it? Well, it would be an absolute victory, you feel. Yes, you do. I don't believe this has happened yet. I don't. Already I get that intent, that feeling. Or if it has happened and you feel it's a victory, if, if you would... F bleh. When this spins, you'd feel it's a victory. So if you're not feeling very victorious, then the Wheel of Fortune has not spun for you yet. Not in this reading, not for what this reading is regarding. A broken heart. So you'd feel very victorious over a broken heart. Or perhaps you'd feel victorious in the Wheel of Fortune spinning, but it would leave you with a broken heart nonetheless, even though in turn it was a victory. And there's something that you need to surrender to. So perhaps you need to surrender to the idea that a relationship or something isn't working. And in surrendering and understanding that, you know, that is truly a victory. Passionate communication coming in extremely fast. Extremely fast. Oh, that doesn't go there. Sorry. Well, I guess I'm going to leave it there. So this Wheel of Fortune, if it was to spin right now, you feel, yep, that'd be an absolute victory. But the Divine is saying, we're not going to spin it right now because this Three of Swords here is not where we want you headed. I don't believe they want you headed to that right now. Otherwise, it would have spun. And this is coming over all over top of, I choose love no matter what. So what situation are you not choosing love in? I think if this was to spin now, you'd feel it's a victory, but it would break apart something that shouldn't be broken apart. I choose love no matter what. All right, let's get some clarity on this one. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. So having compassion, perhaps seeing someone with the eyes of love is letting them go in your opinion. Perhaps it's you you're seeing for the first time with the eyes of love. Someone offering you something and you saying, hell to the no. I've seen what's in them cups, thank you very much. Nope, I know what the past has shown me. 
I know what the past has shown me there, but they're asking you to let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with new eyes of love. Now, this is probably, most importantly, I'd say about yourself. Seeing yourself with the eyes of love and choosing love no matter what. Choosing love. There's just some perception that's skewed here and you're not viewing something correctly. Rest, relaxation. Someone's trying to build a solid ground here. Uh, build something on solid ground. And you're having ancestors, your past loved ones speak to you, trying to guide the way. But you've got to let go of how you were treated in the past. Perhaps a relationship has come in and the way of the past was you always ended up hurt. So you're like, hell to the non, I'm not loving anymore. I'm not doing it. No more relationships for me. But they're asking you to let go of that. Yeah, repeating cycles. Standing up for everything you've created. I'm not going to look at something a different way because I know what I've created. Because this is all about shadow here. Feeling defensive, really defensive. Wanting to protect what you've created. And, and it's about not giving up. Not giving up on love, not giving up on yourself. There's something, yeah, you've got competing goals now, competing ideas. Perhaps you feel the other person, thing, job, place, or whatever in question. There's competing ideas and competing goals about staying there or even leaving. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. So something that's been an absolute battle, they want you to see it in a love form from the center of divine love, as opposed to how you've been seeing it, however that is for you. I choose love no matter what. Something could be in the justice system, but or also dealing with a Libra possibly. Justice coming to this situation, and if you do choose love no matter what, that's when justice will come. And you're feeling steady in your, your, you could be dealing with Cancer Pisces Scorpio, feeling, uh, wanting justice where Cancer Pisces Scorpio is concerned, trying to be love, trying to, to emanate love in very difficult times, I might add, very difficult and wanting to move away from rough waters to calm waters. There's a decision needs to be made though. And how do I be love and still get what I want? How do I be love and still create the future I want? How do I walk away from something, leave rough waters behind to calm waters and make the decision to do that and still be love? Especially if the other person's being all up in this energy of swords like coming at you flying branded high while well, challenging truth about this. There's a challenging truth coming here and it's got to do with deception. So how are you deceiving yourself or how are you being deceived? I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So all of this happening is about someone's fear of being lied or cheated or stolen from. There's a fear here and you don't want to step forward and that's the challenging truth is that the fear is that that all of this mistrust this whichever is based on fear i witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love so love is teaching you see holding on tight Someone's trying to build a solid foundation, wanting to, but holding on tight to what? Fear. Holding on tight to fear. This is lack mentality all day long. You need to end that cycle. Start a brand new one. Are you going to, to try and win everything at all costs? Is that what this is about? I am going to win at all costs. I don't care if I got to drag you through the justice system. I will have my victory. You might do that. And you might have a victory, but you're not going to heal this, which is what this soul lesson is all about. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. This is all about fear. 
that someone is doing to you or something to you or in a situation, perhaps none of that's even happened. Perhaps none of that's even happened yet to a certain extent and you feel lied to, cheated to, and you, I know something's going on. I know the challenging truth is there's deception here. Challenging truth might be that you're Wanting this by lying to yourself about how you go about getting it. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with new eyes of love. I witness and call on the light with my prayers. I witness the dark. See, there's a choice to be made here. There's a choice to be made here, possibly between two people, or someone might feel like you're losing yourself in a relationship, so you either have to choose the relationship or choose yourself. And you don't feel you can have them both. That's something you're lying to yourself about. I have to tell you, you can have yourself and a relationship as well. Now, mind you, both sides have to be equal. Both sides have to be, I guess, I can't even say equal. The divine can do anything. Man, have I ever known that the divine can do anything? Whoops. Okay, I got a bunch of cards. So there's confusion. Yeah, exactly, about how to surrender and put the burdens down. It's like, I've collected all, all these sticks now. I can build my new project. And you see it as your ship's coming in, but is it really a huge new offer you need to take the leap of faith on? Your ships are coming in, but how do we put down the burden to fear? Perhaps you're waiting for a contract of some type to come through. How do we put down the burden of fear in whatever it is you're fighting here? Okay. It's all about this, my friends. I surrender to a power greater than me. So where's that trust? Where's that trust in the divine? Trust happens at the most pure moment. The pure, most pure moment of trust is when you surrender. And then you surrender more to what the divine has for you. And to understand that you don't know where it's all headed. You don't. But sitting there in fear over where it's all headed is going to bring you more things to be afraid of. I love you guys. I hope this message resonates for you. And I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.